Okay, what's up here? Appears to be some sort of a uh, uh, contraption. Not really contraption, I would say. Um, more like a um, maybe a pit. Some sort. I don't really understand what that's for. Um, let's keep going up. Oh, we got a glowy. Soul Velost Undead. I'll take that. And we did just see our first Mirage image, if I believe I remember right. Frequently, you'll see ghost images of other players, and I'm glad to see at least one of them because it means that the online is working and that other people are playing the game. We can pillage this treasure chest and get some cracked red eye orbs to invade. We'll probably never use them, as I recommend to all players that are first starting off. Not to fiddle with playing a Dark Wraith. Let the other people do that. You know, the disgusting ones that like to, you know, gank. And... I'm just kidding, it's part of the game, I don't care. But I prefer not to be a red player, so to speak. I normally play blue, and I'll show you what that means later. Anyway, um, this little grotto contains some cool items for us. I'm not sure if we can actually equip any of them. What's that Morning Star? Morning Star does slightly more damage, but mm -hmm. actually, is that good for us to use? It appears to be slightly better than our hand axe, if I if I'm correct. So we could go and use that Morning Star. Why not? Let's use the Morning Star. As you quickly see, all items in the game give you a slightly different kill. Uh, not kill set, Ugh. skill set. They all work differently, and um, it is worth it to see how certain items actually work. And we're not gonna fuck with these skeletons because screw them, because I don't I don't care, because go away skeletons, you guys are douchebags. Many players make the mistake of going that way when they first start the game and getting discouraged because uh, those skeletons are assholes and they will fuck you up if you have no idea what you're doing. Thusly, I like to avoid the shit out of them. Yes. So that is what we'll do. We will avoid the shit out of those skeletons. Pick up some nice firebombs back in there. And I believe one of the things we might be able to do, or we could do, is pay a visit to a sorcerer type guy. If for some reason you wanted to play a, um... What the hell? Fuck! I think the bonfire is going crazy, guys. What's this message today? Imminent light! Okay. Well, you know what? Let's just keep exploring around. That's the fun. It's a good way to get a, uh, acquainted with this game. Oh, hello. No response. She cannot speak. Um, but she can reinforce our Estus Flask. Which is something to keep in mind. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's go down here. As I have told you that going the skeleton way is imminent death. You never want to do that ever. Bad idea. Never, never do that. We can uh, explore around a little bit though. And we'll try going down here first. And peeking in on something, so to speak. Hmm. What awaits us at the bottom of the elevator? Oh my goodness gracious, that looks to be something interesting over there. Alright. Let's go explore this new place that we found. Um, bit by bit. I know there happen to be a lot of undead down here that actually won't screw with you. Unless you screw with them. We can completely ignore them in the New Londo Ruins. Yes, that's what the place is called. I remember that. But, all the way down here, we have Mr. Guy. Hmm? Well, this is unusual, Fiddler. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't pry. I'm Ricky of Vinheim. I was once an established smith, but... Look at me now. Can you believe? I can't believe it. Hmm? What is it? Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. I've no intention of escape. It's safe here. Can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, I've 
not much to occupy myself. How about this? I could forge your weapons, albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show you what made me the best in the line. So this guy can mess with our equipment. I don't... That's not what I remember him being able to do. We could repair all of our gear here if we wanted to. We could also reinforce our equipment here and modify it if we wanted to. Well, more importantly, what does he sell? He sells, oh, a Sorcerer's Catalyst and Heavy Soul Arrow and Soul Arrow. Which we will not be screwing with because magic is not what we do. What is it? There's nothing. We're both cursed. Oh, yeah. He's going to be a douche now, so... Anyway, it's important to note that he's there. If you're planning on going a sorcery route through the game for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe you just got drunk one night and thought it would be a good idea. Um, he's your he's your man. You need to stop here pretty early on in order to be able to have sorceries to use. Hey. Pay attention to me. Don't blow me off. And you might have seen we just got an item called an S-Stock. Let me see if uh, I can equip the S-Stock. The S-Stock is a very good weapon in Dark Souls 2. But we need agility in order to wield it. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to screw with it currently. I am perfectly happy with my Morning Star at the moment. So uh, let's go back up. As we don't want to go too far into New Londo Ruins, uh, it's pretty dangerous down in there. That's something you want to reserve for later in the game. What was the point of coming down here at all? Just to show you that one guy. I didn't know he was down there. I didn't even know there was an elevator here on my first playthrough. I was just kind of like, oh, Firelink Shrine. Um, time to go get killed by those two skeletons in the graveyard ten million times. Okay. Let's go up here. And let's actually make some darn progress, shall we? Okay. To the top. We are going to be going up that way. Upwards. As we were given the hint that one of the Bells of Awakening is in the chapel above. So, of course, we would try to ascend in order to get there. But in order to ascend, we must kill things. Hey. Hey, bastard. Hey. Woo! Ain't you crafty. Look at you. What about you? You want to go too? Huh? 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 One-shotted you with my super awesome mace. Someone throwing firebombs at us from up above. That's not great. I don't know how I managed to do that or this. I just got really lucky, I guess. And that guy throwing firebombs is pissing me off, so let's go ahead and go ahead and kill him. Kill him diggity dead. Eh? I wonder if I can throw my own firebombs at him. Oh, no, we got a guy coming at us from the side. Get screwed, you dick. Eh. Screw your firebombs. Whoosh. As you can see, our fireball is a very potent weapon for dealing with things. Come at me. Come at me. Boink and boink. They have been thoroughly boinked. Alright. Now we saw something glowing down there on the uh, side of the uh, bridge. And I want to make sure I get that before we proceed forward. I just wanted to kill the enemies first so I wouldn't actually die. Mm. And we gotta jump this gap here. Which is gonna be a little bit harrowing actually. <gasps> okay. I managed to make it here. Meh. Nah. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Ring of Sacrifice. What is the Ring of Sacrifice? The Ring of Sacrifice is... Lose nothing upon death, but the ring breaks. If at any point you feel unsafe in this game, like you are going to die and you have a lot of souls on you, you can equip the Ring of Sacrifice. And thusly, not have to worry about dying. That's really awesome. Okay. Whoa, okay, almost didn't do it right. My hand fell asleep. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to jump that. Okay, 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 okay. Whoa, okay, whoo, made it. Countless times have I fallen off of that like a moron. 